The Personal Information Protection Law of China would take effect on the 1st of November 2021. Similar to GDPR, it has both domestic and extraterritorial applications, and this video focuses on how PIPL may apply to entities outside of China. The PIPL will apply to Hong Kong and overseas entities in two circumstances. Either if you process personal information of individuals in the PRC for the purpose of providing goods or services to PRC individuals, or if you analyze or evaluate behaviors of PRC individuals. When we are talking about processing, it has a wide definition. It basically covers all aspects of handling personal information from collection, storage, use, processing, and other type of handling. If PIPL applies to you as an overseas entity, you should note the following. First, you should notify the PRC individual before you process the personal information. The law specifies what you need to notify them, which includes who you are, your contact details, the purpose of processing the personal information, and how you are handling the personal information. Second, you need to let them know how they can exercise the rights under PIPL. And third, you need his consent to process the personal information unless it is exempted on specific grounds under the law, like emergency use. Fourth, if you intend to transfer his personal information to another entity, you need to inform them specifically. Separate and prior consent is necessary. Special measures should be taken in dealing with sensitive personal information of PRC individuals. Examples of sensitive personal information are biometric data, religious belief, medical and financial information, etc. And information of minor under the age of 14 is also considered sensitive information. So, what do we need to do? Three major takeaways. The first one is, you need to amend or update your privacy policy and personal information collection statement. In particular, don't forget to include all the notification items. The second is to revisit internal procedures and protocols for the protection of personal information of PRC individuals. Examples like revisit retention period and redesign the web page to obtain the necessary consent. And the final one is designate a data protection officer within China to be responsible for personal information protection if you are subject to PIPL. I hope you find this useful and thank you so much for watching.